I shall discuss the problem on LR circuit. In my previous lecture, I had explained about the equation, how we can form the equation for inductance and resistance on the application of differential equation. As to remind you about uh, the applications with respect to the module, uh, uh, present module in the MAT11, that is module 4, 8 in MAT11. This is the second application after orthogonal trajectory. Now we shall study the problem on LR circuit. The problem is like this. A 12 volt battery is connected to a simple series circuit in which the inductance is 1 by 2 hence the resistance is 10 ohms find the current i if i at t is equal to 0 that is equal to zero. This is the data which is given in the problem. A 12 volt battery is connected to a simple series circuit in which the inductance is 1 by 2 hertz and the resistance is 10 ohms. Find the current I if the initial value is given as I means current at the time t is equal to 0 that is equal to 0. So, with respect to this, the governing equation we have defined, that equation is like this. For L of circuit, the ODE is given by di by dt plus of R by L into I equal to E of T divided by L is there. Now, what are the values given in the present data? Those values we can substitute as they are and then we can solve for the current in terms of T. Therefore, the values are given like this. given values are L equal to 1 by 2 hertz, R equal to 10 ohms and I of 0 equal to 0. You substitute here that is dr divided by dt that is 10 divided by 1 by 2 that is L into I equal to E of t that E of t is equal to 12 volts, this one, 12 volts, that is E of t is equal to 12 volts, so that this is di by dt, 10 by 1 by 2, you can take it as di divided by dt plus 20i is equal to, that is 12 is there. Now, R by L and here also that is divided by L, it is 1 by 2, this is 24. Therefore, dr divided by dt plus 20i equal to 24 is our differential equation. This differential equation is uh, treated as linear differential equation which is linear in I that is linear in I means first degree that is first degree of I first degree of current then we solve this differential equation using the integrating factor and the linear differential equation procedure therefore integrating factor is 
given by IF equal to integral power integral term that is 20 into dt that is e to the power 20 into t. This is the integrating factor and the solution for this is given by solution is given by that is i into integrating factor e to the power 20 into t that is equal to integral right side or just value it is 24 and e to the power it is 20 t the integrating factor dt plus constant therefore i into e to the power 20 t that is equal to 24 the integration of e to the power 20 t takes e to the power 20 t divided by the constant 20 then that is plus of constant now we will use the given initial condition this initial condition i of 0 that i at t is equal to time is equal to 0 we will substitute as it is at t equal to 0 i equal to 0 therefore left side it is 0 into e to the power 20 into 0 that is 24 divided by 20 and e to the power 20 into t equal to 0 that is plus of constant this is the utilization of the given initial condition then this term becomes 0 because 0 is multiplied and this term becomes 1 because e to the power 0 is 1 then c is equal to minus 24 divided by 20. Therefore, 6 divided by 5 after dividing it, you are getting the value of c. Therefore, the equation for this is given by that should be the solution it i of t is equal to 6.5 that is 20. 20 divided by 24 divided by 20 therefore 6 by 5 minus of 6 divided by 5 into e to the power minus it is 20 t the final simplification you are getting the current in terms of time after using the given data and finding the value of the constant that is i of t is equal to 6 divided by 5 minus of 6 by 5 into e to the power minus 20 t. This is one example on uh, LR circuit. Let us see another uh, example on this. That is uh, same equation LR circuit. How the data will work on this equation. Another problem is like this. On the same topic, a generator having having EMF that is 100 volts is connected is connected in series is connected in series with a 10 ohms resistor and an inductor and an inductor of 2 hertz if the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 that is at a time t is equal to 0 so one find A differential equation for the current, differential equation for the current and determine and determine the current at time t.
in the solution the same equation but the data is different you have to collect the data as it is and then see that i should be expressed in terms of t so for this problem the values you can take given e of t that is emf 100 volts or equal to 10 ohms and l is equal to interference 2 hertz and i of 0 that is i at t is equal to 0 that is equal to 0 that means initial value that is current at the time t is equal to 0 is equal to 0 then we have the ode for l long circuit as we have the ode for l long circuit as di divided by dt plus R by L into I is equal to E of T divided by L. So this is the differential equation. Uh, already we have formed, and only thing we have to substitute the values and then solve it. Therefore, D I divided by D T plus of R is ten and L is two. Into I, this is right side is 100 E of T and divided by 2. Therefore, D I divided by D T plus of 5 times I is equal to 50. So this is the differential equation which we have constructed for our circuit for the given data. You have to solve this differential equation. Uh, using the integrating factor, therefore, I F equal to e to the power integral that is y into d t e to the power y t. This is the integrating factor. Solution is given by solution is given by that is I into e to the power y t. Is equal to integration 50 into e to the power 5t dt plus of constant. So this is equal to 50 divided by 5 into e to the power 5t plus constant. That is i into e to the power 5t. So this is the solution where c is to be calculated using the given initial. Condition. We will see how this value of C can be calculated with the initial value. At t equal to zero, then i equal to zero. Therefore, this is i zero into e to the power i into zero. That is equal to 10. 50 by 5 is 10, and e to the power 5 into 0, and plus some constant. Anyway, this is 0 because 0 is multiplied, and 0 is equal to 10 plus some c. C is equal to minus 10. Therefore, the solution which we are going to construct that is i into e to the power 5t this one equal to 10 into e to the power 5t and minus of 10 and i is equal to 10 into e to the power 5t that cancels minus 10 into e to the power minus of 5t this is the solution this explains current is a function of that is time so this is how the third application on differential equation we can study the next discussion is nth degree 
differential equation with constant coefficients where we can represent the derivative that is dy by dx by means of the symbol as p and how we can solve that differential equation. Now, the next title comes like this. Non-linear differential equation Non-linear differential equation in this topic that is general solution Non-linear differential equation solvable for P general solution and another one is singular solution. General solution and singular solution. Already you know that the general solution is containing the arbitrary constant where a singular solution will be free from the arbitrary constant. <coughs> Here this is P where P is equal to dy by dx. That is the general differential equation with the nth degree we will be defining and how this nth degree differential equation can be factorized and each factor how we are going to solve and finally we will put the solution in the form of product of all those solutions obtained. If it is p square then you will be getting two factors and then two solutions you are getting and you will write the product of those two solutions at the end for general solution as well as singular solution. Then the general equation for the uh, a differential equation including the symbol as p will be taken like this define nth degree nth degree ODE in terms of p as that is p to the power n plus of p1 p to the power n minus 1 plus p2 p to the power n minus 2 plus so on plus pn equal to 0 where these p1 p2 p3 and so on they are all functions of x and y whereas this p p is taken as dy by dx now p1 P2 and so on up to Pn or functions of x and y. They are all functions of x and y. Now, for solving this, we resolve this is the equation 1. If we give, we resolve 1 as product of factors as product of factors as p minus f1 x comma y this is one function and another function p minus f2 of x comma y and so on that is equal to 0. When this is a product of these type of factors, then we can equate each factor to RHS. Each factor to RHS means P minus F1 of X comma Y equal to 0. Next, P minus F2 of X comma Y that is equal to 0 and so on. Then you will be solving each differential equation 
where this p is equal to dy by dx. This is a differential equation. Each factor will be solved separately. That is p is equal to you can easily write that is p is equal to f1 of x comma y and here p is equal to f2 of x comma y and so on. After writing this one, maybe solving this one, introducing dy by dx in place of p, you will be getting like f1 of x comma y, maybe some constant you can take that is c1 equal to 0 and for this f2 of x comma y and then c2 equal to 0 and so on. And finally, required solution is the product of f1 comma f2 and so on. That is f1 of x comma y comma c1 into f2 of x comma y comma c2 multiplied and so on that is equal to 0. So, this is the product product of all the calculated solutions where we separated from the given nth degree uh, differential equation and we made it separate factors and each factor was a differential equation and it was solved. So, solution for the first differential equation that is first factor is f1 of x comma y c1 and for the second one f2 something like that and so on. So, this is the solution. Based on this theoretical information, we will solve the problem how p can be separated and singular solution uh, and general solution and singular solution can be obtained. So, general solution you remember that is in the presence of arbitrary constant and singular solution in the absence of arbitrary constant. So, how this uh, differential equation can be solved uh, for by separating the value of p that means solvable for p and then we are going to introduce in place of p as dy by dx. How this differential equation can be solved that we will see uh, using the separation of variable procedure. Example. Solve dy by dx minus of dx divided by it is dy equal to x divided by y and minus of y divided by x by solving for p. In the solution, you carefully observe this problem. This is our derivative dy by dx first term and second term is dx by dy. The symbol which we are considering for p as dy by dx. Define dy by dx equal to p and dx divided by it is dy is equal to 1 by p. Therefore, this differential equation can be written as that is p minus 1 divided by p equal to x divided by y minus of y divided by x. If you take the LCM, this is p square minus 1 divided by p equal to x divided by y minus y divided by x. Then p square minus 1 is equal to p into x by y minus of it is y divided by x is there. Then you can arrange all the terms to one side. This gives a p square minus of p into x by y minus of y by x and minus 1 there itself that is equal to 0. Otherwise, p square 
plus of p into interchange this to avoid this minus sign it is y by x minus of x by y and minus 1 equal to 0. This is the simplified form where this step we consider as quadratic equation in terms of p which is quadratic in p which is quadratic in p. So, this, this is quadratic in p means you have to find the values of p as factors quadratic factors by uh, that is called algebraic method of solving the quadratic equation. What is that quadratic equation by the algebraic method? That is for ax square plus bx plus c algebraic method is what? ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then x equal to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac it is divided by 2a exactly according to this let me choose the terms means coefficients and then we will solve that here from this step that is a x square a equal to 1 that is x equal to p a equal to 1 and b is equal to bx uh, y by x minus x by y and c is equal to minus 1. So, these are the values according to the quadratic equation comparison. Then you take these values to be substituted in the algebraic procedure. What is that algebraic procedure? Here the equation is p square and plus of p into that is y by x minus x by y minus 1 equal to 0. This is the equation. Now, what is p? p is equal to minus b. So, minus b means this is b value y by x minus of x by y plus or minus root of b square y by x minus x by y it is whole square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac 4 into a is 1 into minus 1 4 divided by it is 2 into a value is 1 minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a then p is equal to minus of 1 by 2, this 2 at the e here, then y by x minus x by y and this value plus minus 1 by 2 inside the square root sign, inside the square root sign y square by x square minus 2 times y by x into x by y and plus of x square divided by y square and minus minus becomes plus 4. This is under root. Therefore, minus 1 by 2 into y by x minus x by y plus minus 1 by 2 that is uh, minus of this much and plus 4 will give under root under root y square by x square plus 2 plus of x square divided by y square. Therefore, minus 1 by 2 into y, my, y by x minus x by y plus minus 1 by 2 and under root this can be written as y by x plus x by y it is whole square. This is a square plus 2ab plus b square form. Then minus 1 by 2 y by x minus x by y and plus or minus 1 by 2 plus or minus 1 by 2 
then this becomes y by x and plus of x by y is that this is to be simplified this is for p value this is to be simplified as p is equal to minus uh, 1 by 2 that is y by x and plus of 1 by 2 x by y and plus of 1 by 2 y by x and plus of 1 by 2 it is x by y and another factor minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 y by x plus 1 by 2 x by y and minus 1 by 2 y by x minus 1 by 2 x by y there are two values because it is a quadratic factor so that we have to discuss about both the roots how these roots will give out give the solution okay so 1 by minus 1 by 2 y by x and plus 1 by 2 y by x you can cancel and collecting the coefficients common this one x by y and x by y that is minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 so p is equal to x divided by y one value and here minus 1 by 2 y by x minus 1 by 2 y by x and minus 1 by 2 x by y and uh, sorry plus 1 by 2 x by y and minus 1 by 2 x by y this you can cancel and this is supposed to be minus of y divided by x therefore we have two factors p is equal to x by y and p is equal to minus y divided by x there are two factors which represent the values of p so that we have to solve these two factors separately for differential equations then let us take one by one the solutions that is p is equal to x by y we will solve this differential equation by introducing the value of p what is that p it is dy by dx that is equal to x divided by y this is one differential equation how to solve this one you have to separate the variables and then you have to take the integration of this differential equation okay you take the cross multiplication that is x into dx minus of y into dy equal to 0 you can write then it is already in the separated form x into dx and minus y into dy equal to 0 if you take the integration that is x square divided by 2 minus y square divided by 2 is equal to c1 constant otherwise x square minus y square is equal to 2c1 that is equal to something like capital A and this may be taken as f1 of x comma y and some constant this is solution for the first differential equation which is separated from that given differential equation similarly if you take another differential equation let this one p is equal to minus y by x then dy by dx equal to minus y by x therefore this can be taken as that is dx here and y here okay then dx divided by x uh, dx divided by dx will come here and dy will come here to avoid this minus it is dy by y is equal to 0 then integration gives log this one x plus log y is equal to log of c2 you can take some other constant therefore this is plus sign and both are log we can write it as log xy log xy is equal to log of 
C2. Then xy is equal to C2, you can consider and this is nothing log C2, xy is equal to C2. This can be taken as uh, F2 of x comma y. So when you write the solutions together as a product of two solutions, then you can consider this as a uh, final solution as a general solution where you can put both the solutions together as solution of the given differential equation where it was of uh, second uh, degree that is p square and you must get two different type of solutions so that those solutions can be written as f1 into f2 therefore required solution you can write like this Therefore, required solution is F1 into F2 equal to 0. What is F1? Here x square minus y square equal to a that is minus a and product that is x into y x into y this one minus c2 and this is equal to 0. This is called general solution. This is called a general solution. Now to get the singular solution, you have to avoid the value of p from the given differential equation. Uh, that given differential equation was written as p square plus p and then y by x minus of x by y minus 1 equal to 0. In this equation, there are two values of p, p is equal to x by y and p is equal to minus of y by x. So, take one solution and then put it in uh, this differential equation to avoid the value of p. Now, we will write like this, that solution. To get singular solution, we substitute p in p square plus p into y by x minus x by y minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, that is p is equal to x by y that is x square divided by y square plus x divided by y into y by x minus x by y minus 1 equal to 0 will be the singular solution. So, if it is singular solution, there are two values which satisfies this 0 that becomes the complete solution of that or singular solution of that given differential equation. This is how uh, differential equation will be solvable for P and then uh, obtaining general solution and obtaining the singular solution. We will take one more uh, problem on this, how this differential equation can be studied for another situation. Solve x square into p square. Solve x square into p square plus 3x into y that is p plus 2y square that is equal to 0. Here also it is already given as a second degree equation then you have to take this second degree equation as it is uh, similar to the ax square plus bx plus c then find the two values of p and solve for p you will be getting in terms of the presence of arbitrary constants and you call it as general solution and one more as singular solution where p can be avoided by one of the two solutions which you are going to obtain. Let us see what are the values of p in this equation we are going to get.
in the solution given OD is is of the form is of the form a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. That means x square into p square plus three into x y p plus two y square that is equal to zero. Here a equal to x square that is in terms of quadratic which is quadratic in P which is quadratic in P. So now you have to find out the two values of P so that A is equal to x square and B is equal to 3xy and C is equal to 2 times of y square. Then algebraic method by Otherwise, you can write roots. Roots of P are given by roots of P are given by P is equal to that is minus P plus minus root of B square minus 4AC whole divided by it is 2A whole divided by 2A then minus B minus of 3xy plus minus root of whole square 9x square y square minus of 4 into x square into 2 y square and whole divided by it is 2a means 2x square. This is the algebraic method of finding the roots. Then what are the values of p? It is simplified. Already I had shown the details in the previous problem. Now you can take the same thing like uh, 3xy plus or minus root of 9x square y square and here minus 4 into 2 that is 8. Therefore, 9 minus 8x square y square and whole divided by it is 2x square. Then This is for P, then P is equal to minus 3xy minus 3xy divided by it is 2x square and plus or minus it is xy divided by 2x square. This is equal to minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 x cancels y by x plus minus x by y means x cancels plus or minus 1 by 2 it is y by x and further minus 3 by 2 y by x plus of 1 by 2 y by x and minus 3 by 2 y by x minus of 1 by 2 it is y by x. Then 2 is the LCM minus 3y and plus y. Okay. Or 2 is the LCM that means 3 by 2 and y by x you can take common into minus 3 by 2 plus of 1 by 2 and y by x here also common minus 3 by 2 minus of 1 by 2. This gives y by x, 2 is the LCM and minus 1 remains that is minus 3 minus plus 1 is minus 2 and 2 cancels gives us minus 1 and y by x that is minus 4 by 2 into minus 2. This is for p. Therefore, p is equal to minus y by x and minus of 2y divided by x. So there are two values of p uh, that means two different differential equations you have and you have to solve separately that is 
t is equal to dy by dx dy by dx equal to minus of it is y by x and dy by dx equal to minus 2y divided by x is that how we are going to solve now by the separation of variables therefore dx comes here and dy comes here that means dx by x plus of dy by y is equal to 0 dx that is all terms to, to one side you are writing dx comes here and dy comes here log x plus log y is equal to log of c1 therefore xy is equal to c1 and xy minus c1 equal to 0 is equal to f1 and another differential equation that is dy by dx is equal to minus 2y divided by x similarly that is dx divided by x and plus of plus of 1 by 2 that is dy divided by y equal to 0 should be log x plus 1 by 2 it is log of y is equal to c2 that means x y to the power half is equal to c2 that is log c2 we can write here then it is c2 then x into that is y to the power 1 by 2 minus c2 is equal to 0 this we can call it as second function that is f2 then the required solution will be a product of these two solutions therefore f1 into f2 equal to 0 will be the required solution f1 into f2 equal to 0 is the required solution which is called general solution what is that general solution xy minus c1 multiplied by x into y to the power half minus c2 that is equal to 0 this is called product of two different solutions where we consider these two solutions as uh, the required solution for the second degree uh, differential equation <coughs> now for singular solution for singular solution we put p is equal to what is that the first uh, term minus y by x in in the problem to avoid to avoid that p therefore that comes to be that comes to be x square into minus y by x whole square plus 3 to xy minus y by x plus 2y square equal to 0 is the singular solution which satisfies out of these two this is an example I am writing singular solution should be free from the value of p and general solution will be containing the arbitrary constraints of c1 and c2 this is how the non-linear differential equation in terms of p and exclusively solving for p we can work out and another topic which we have to discuss in the continuation of this uh, uh, non-linear differential equation is called Claret's differential equation next topic is Claret's differential equation Claret's differential equation. It is of the form y 
y is equal to px plus of f of p. This is the Clarets equation. Once again, p here we will be taken as derivative. p is dy by dx. Then solution of you can name this equation as one solution of Clarets. Claret ODE is as follows. Here, differentiating one with respect to x. So, this equation again you differentiate, you will be getting dy by dx equal to, this is a product of two terms, that is p into 1 plus of x into dp by dx and plus of f dash p into dp by dx. This is f becomes f dash, this is a composite function, function of a function, f as, as it is f dash into dp by dx. Now we have to solve this differential equation and what is the value of p we have to obtain. Then here left side this is p equal to p this term and plus of x into dp by dx plus f dash of p into it is dp by dx equal to 0. We can cancel this, we can cancel this, uh, p and p we can cancel so that that is equal to 0 if you consider in the left side. Okay, p is equal to, therefore 0 is equal to x into dp by dx and plus f dash of p into dp by dx where you can take the common factor as dp by dx from this dp divided by dx multiplied by x plus of f dash of p equal to 0. You have two factors that is dp divided by dx equal to 0 and x plus of f dash of p that is equal to 0. Then first differential equation that is dp divided by dx equal to 0 implies that is dp is equal to 0 into dx implies the solution is p is equal to c. Therefore, integration on both sides gives us p is equal to c and x plus f dash of p is equal to 0. From this you can take x equal to minus of f dash of p. x equal to minus of f dash of p. Therefore, p is equal to c is the solution where the derivative you are taking you can consider. Therefore, wherever p is there in the Clarets equation will be the value of c. Therefore, Clarets equation gives with with the value of p with the value of p is p is equal to c p is that is y is equal to p x plus f of p equal to c x plus f of c. This is the solution for Clarets differential equation. Now, singular solution. To obtain the singular solution, you have to avoid the value of c also. Then, orbital constant will not be there. 
then we can consider that p is equal to it is substitute that value of p and we uh, make the value and in absence of arbitrary constant that becomes the singular solution which is already discussed in the previous topic okay based on this we will consider the problem how this cladic's equation takes the solution we will see the first problem is like this solve p is equal to sin of y minus xp also find its singular solution in the solution it is given p is equal to sin of y minus x into p so first of all you have to write the given problem as sing a uh, claret's form and then from the claret's form you have to consider the value of p as the solution therefore we rewrite this problem as sin if you take to the left side let sin inverse p is equal to y minus x into p then y is equal to y is equal to x into p plus sin inverse p therefore this is similar to this is similar to standard form that is p into x plus f of p p into x plus f of p f of p is sin inverse of p therefore within one sentence you can write the solution where p is equal to c p is equal to c gives the solution choose already we have solved for that p is equal to c as the solution then y is equal to this gives us p into c plus solve uh, sorry c into x plus solve that is f of p is sin inverse it is sin inverse of c this is the general solution of claret's equation then to understand the singular solution for this problem we take the differentiation and then we separate and we try to avoid the arbitrary constant that is like this then differentiating with respect to c then left side is zero with respect to c means x remains plus so 1 divided by square root of 1 minus it is c square so from this if you separate and then simplify you can obtain c is equal to plus or minus root of x square minus 1 and divided by x that means uh, taking this x to the left side and making square so that you can collect the value of c taking cross multiplication we are able to get this value that is c is equal to plus or minus square root of x square minus 1 divided by x is there now if you substitute this value in the equation that is y is equal to uh, should be c into x and plus or sin inverse of c in this equation you can consider whether plus quantity or minus quantity one of these if you substitute that is root of x square minus 1 divided by x and plus so it is sin inverse of root of x square minus 1 divided by x will be the solution we call it as singular solution in the absence of arbitrary constant this is called the singular solution for claret's equation so like this we can solve uh problems by converting or by rearranging the problem which was not in claret's form we can change that into claret's form and then we can introduce the solution that is p is equal to c 
theoretically already we have obtained this value and then we can substitute to expect the general solution where it will be in terms of arbitrary constant. Now, uh, to avoid this uh, C, arbitrary constant to write a, sing uh, a singular solution, this singular solution should not contain the symbol as P and should not contain the arbitrary constant. Then this solution is completely free from P and C. This is called singular solution. So like this you can try some other problem where your goal must be first you have to arrange according to the standard form y is equal to that is p of p into x plus of sin uh, that is f of p as Clarence equation and p is equal to c will act as one solution uh, that uh, gives us general solution and by avoiding c and p we will get a uh, singular solution. This is how you can uh, solve the problems even in the previous topic uh, in this lecture what we discussed you can also consider extra problems and then you can study the topic on application of differential equations and uh, solvable for p from the non-linear differential equations and from the standard form of Claret's differential equation.